What's poppin' people, it's Dante. Something with the GoPro Mini, 1080p, export it to 720p at 30 FPS for that beautiful, beautiful, small file size, right? Smaller is better. Um, compact cameras are better, right? Pull it out of your pocket, make a quick picture. GoPro Mini, no LCD screens, no distractions. Great audio, by the way. You know, treat this uh, GoPro like a tool to put people in your shoes and to propagate your voice and your thoughts as an artist. Um, not only the experiences through your POV, but I believe that the audio is critical. Perhaps the GoPro is the ultimate uh, video audio tool. Extremely robust. You can put it underwater. <laughs> can the GoPro and the Ricoh combine technologies and make an extremely durable camera that I can uh, throw around? Um, underwater. Imagine if the Rico could go underwater. Message to Rico. Uh, email me at Dante at DanteSisypho.com. I have great ideas. Great ideas. Just combine it with a uh, GoPro. Um, <laughs> speaking of robustness, right? What's a robust way of thinking? Via negativa, right? Subtraction, right? Subtract things from your life, right? When you think of alcohol, Right, alcohol is actually just poison. And if you think of it this way, do you really wanna voluntarily consume poison, right? And what's with sports, right? Alcohol and sports go hand in hand. A good sports fan has to be drunk and they're sitting in front of their TV, screaming and yelling because they don't have the, uh, <laughs> the player of their uh, dreams. Ooh, the sun. <sighs> They don't have their favorite player scoring the touchdown and getting the points for the for the big for the big game, and then their uh, money their money is on the line, right? They're gambling. What are you gambling for? What's with all the distractions in the world? You know, I'm starting to think that whatever Jesus did, maybe we should all do as young men, right? Just follow 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 God. Um, You know, is that not cool in the modern world anymore? Uh, I don't know, I think it is. Uh, got the iPad Pro, carrying the iPad Pro around with me. Yeah, this is the ultimate creator's tool. Absolutely love using the uh, iPad for my photography. Um, I like remixing the photos in Procreate and zenning out in the ZenBrush app doing some calligraphy drawings. It's fun, it's a good uh, solution. I actually, uh, picked up a new water bottle. I don't want to be drinking out of the plastic bottles all the time here. So look, I got a small bottle. Look, speaking of smaller being better, look at how this water bottle fits in my pocket. Look, I can zip it up. So it's like a half liter. But yeah, two liters of water per morning. Um, I think your body can only consume one liter per hour, but yeah, I just go overboard with two. You know, a liter per hour. But I like to have two, two, two liters within the morning. Um, yeah, maybe having a bag is good. I just have this bag for school. But maybe bags are good. I just carry the water bottle with me. Um, yeah, I think that minimal is better. Yeah, via negativa, I think it's an interesting uh, way of doing things where you just remove things from your life. The uh, superfluous things that don't really matter, get rid of it. Let's walk this way. Walking. Look at this beautiful patch of light. Walking in the sun, right? Walking outdoors, being outdoors. <sighs> what is luxury? What is privilege? Having the privilege to be outside and to walk, right? To walk endlessly. This is the goal as an artist, to be in a constant flow state of creation, I believe is a privilege to be outdoors. Um, this is luxury. This is what it looks like to me. Walking outside in the sun, making art, lifting weights, 
you know, I don't have an access to a gym right now because everything closes down in Rome during August. All the gyms are closed. So I've been just doing like push-ups and pistol squats and like body weight stuff, uh, which is fine, I guess. But yeah, I'd say walking outside in the sun, creating art, lifting and eating meat. Yeah, these are like key ingredients for me and what I consider luxury. <clears throat> I think it's interesting to consider your living quarters when you're abroad as a bunker, right? Americans seek to conquer. Okay, so just treat the treat the living space and other places like a bunker. Go there to just cook your meat and then spend, spend all of your time outdoors, right? Sleep, obviously, inside. Um, been using the fan. Uh, what's with the air conditioning? In the, in the classroom, all the non-Americans get really sick. They start to cough. Right? I guess I'm just adapted to it. I feel like the air conditioners are like modern day gas chambers. They're just getting everyone sick. But I'm fine. Look, I'm adapted to it. Um, you know, I think sleeping in a cold space is way more, uh, it's uh, way more comfortable. So I at least have like a fan by my bed. So that's good. But it's still, I feel like I need two fans. I'm not going to lie. Um, what else is on my mind? Yeah, I think having a big heart and being more tolerant is good. So what do I mean by this? Yeah, just being open to other people's opinions, other people's ideas, and uh, allowing people to speak their mind in general. Like, uh, you know, we have to become more open-minded as people. And I believe that the way to do this is through traveling and to uh, speak with more people in the flesh, right? To interact with more people in the physical world. Yeah, we can achieve this sort of open-mindedness, this uh, sort of big-heartedness. Um, I think it's a good thing. Um, you know, street photography is the ultimate way to explore the world. It just gives you that excuse, right, to go out and do the thing, which is life. <laughs> you know, it keeps you in a it keeps you in a flow state of creation, and I, I want to be in that flow state. Uh, so, I think that's all for right now, and uh, I'll have more thoughts soon. Basta.